Rick, is that the greatest moment of power is going to exist in, in part of that quarter of the arc. All right, not the full circle, but if you get hit here or you get hit right about here, it's still going to affect you. Beyond this line here, it loses its power. So what we're going to do is take advantage of that. We don't want to absorb all that strength. I don't want you to stay in there, go ahead and crowd that kick and take a chance of breaking your arms. So what we want you to do is move up the circle, use a universal block so that it wedges in there and you catch it. But you're only going to absorb some of that punishment. Makes this kick, we block. From here, before that foot comes down, I want you to shuffle in in pendulum or swing that arm and hammer fist to the groin. That'll be your next shot. I want this to occur, though, before his foot hits the ground. Watch again. We make our block. We come in, bam, hit the groin. Now, that's going to bring his head down. At this point, I'm going to move up the circle one more step to 3 o'clock and shoot an elbow, an obscure elbow right up there. OK, let's take it from this angle. The kick comes. I move off, shuffle in, hit the groin, and up, boom, and hit with an obscure elbow. Make sure the bottom hand's checking. Don't do like me when I'm talking. Sometimes I'll let that lag behind, but keep it in there as a check. Thank you, Rick.